What's up everyone, Take Turn here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 won't turn on. Let's get right into this. If your PlayStation 5 won't turn on, there's a few things that you can try to do to fix this issue. First, try to manually reboot the PlayStation 5. To do this, you're gonna press and hold the power button for 15 seconds. This will hopefully reboot your PlayStation 5 and hopefully turn it on. Next, you're gonna to want to attempt to power cycle the PlayStation 5. It's super easy to do and not as scary as it sounds. To do this, you're simply going to disconnect the power cord and all of the cables from the console and the outlet. You're going to leave it for about 20 minutes or even longer. Essentially what this is doing is draining all of the remaining power that is in the console out of the console. Now after 20 minutes or even longer, you're going to reconnect everything and try to turn on the console and see if it does turn on for you. Next, if that didn't work, you're gonna to want to try to use a different power cable or even a different power outlet. The power cable might be faulty even if it does look like it's intact and the power outlet might not be working properly and you just don't know it. Now, if your PlayStation 5 turns on but it's not fully turning on, then try to enter safe mode. To do this, you're gonna press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps. After that, if it launches into safe mode, you're gonna follow these next steps. First, you're gonna choose option one to restart the console. Sometimes a simple restart in safe mode can fix the issue. Next, if that didn't work, in safe mode, you're gonna try option five, and you're gonna follow the steps to rebuild the database. Next, if that didn't work, you're gonna download the current update from the PlayStation website onto a flash drive. You're then gonna connect that to the PlayStation 5, and you're gonna choose option three to update the system software. Now lastly, if none of those other steps worked in safe mode, the last thing to do if you have access to safe mode is to factory reset your PlayStation 5. Now unfortunately, if none of those steps worked for you, or if you weren't able to access safe mode to even attempt those steps, then there likely is a bigger issue with your PlayStation 5. Hopefully either you have it under warranty or you know somebody that you can take it to to take it in for repairs, but hopefully you can get it working, but it likely is a bigger issue with your PlayStation 5. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully your PlayStation 5 is now able to turn on and is working as normal. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.